Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with episode 21 of New Vegas. Alright, when we left off, we had just came into this building, infested by ghouls, both sentient and not. So, we're going to deal with, who is it, Jason Bright of New Vegas ghouls, I guess. <laughs> uh, little thing up here, I guess. Return to me, Wanderer. We need your help. Okay. Why did you talk to him about that? Hello, Wanderer. Okay. Please forgive us our humble surroundings. Our true home awaits us in the far beyond. Um... Have you come to help us complete the great journey? Double, um... You're basically a glowing one. What's the great journey? We wish to escape the barbarity of the wasteland. Especially the violence and bigotry of its human inhabitants. Okay. The Creator has promised to my flock a new land. A place of safety and healing. A paradise in the far beyond. Preparations for the Great Journey were nearly complete when the demons appeared. Oh. Tell me more about these demons. The demons appeared from nowhere. Except it might be more accurate to say they never actually appeared at all. The demons are invisible. Uh -huh. Where one of them stands, the most one sees is the air shimmering like sunlight on water. They Back to stealth boys. As we were on our way to worship one morning, we had just entered the basement. My flock fought bravely and killed a few, but at such cost, nearly half of us died or went missing. Okay. The rest of us retreated up here. One of the demons raved at us. But they have not tried to attack us since. Still, hmm. their demonic presence brought all progress towards the great journey to a standstill. But now you have come. Oh. Once again, the Creator Good. has sent a human to help us across a seemingly insurmountable obstacle. Once again, I assume you're talking about the human thinking he's a ghoul over there? You say one of the demons raved at you. Yes, over the intercom. Threats of death should we step outside. Guarantees of safety should we stay locked away. It went on for hours and did not always make sense. But that was the first day only. Since then, silence. Will you drive away the demons, Wanderer? I'll take care of the demons for you. Praise I'll the Creator. Anyway. Bless you, Wanderer. Bless us all. As soon as the underground has been rid of demons, preparations for the great journey can resume. Okay. What is, uh... uh... Again, really late at night, I yawned in the last episode that I is made of Skyrim. Uh, no, I haven't dealt with the demons yet, but how will you make the journey? The means by which the great journey is to be accomplished are an article of faith. Not to be discussed with outsiders. Okay. What's the deal with the human who let me in? You're referring to Chris? Mm-hmm. I doubt you had much luck if you tried telling him that he's human. We had the same discussions when he first appeared, and the same lack of success. Mm-hmm. He believes he is one of us. Soon enough we realized that Chris was a gift from the Creator. He is integral to the success of the Great Journey. Uh, okay, I'll be on my way then. Let me know when the underground has been rid of the demons. Fair enough, I will. And that is a bunch of radiation stuff, but we can't pick it up yet, because then they'll go hostile and be mad at me for a while. So, instead, we're going to pull out our gun. And I'll pull out my gun! And I'm gonna go deal with the demons now. First, though, workbench, to deal with all of these. There we go. Uh, I could do that, but it'd take a while, so no, I'm not going to. Open door. And that's, yep, that's the way to the facility. A way to the facility. I thought I pressed the button. I guess I didn't hit it hard enough. Or punched it hard enough. Like I do with the machines at work. <laughs> Because they're 
old and shit. Okay. We'll go down this way. And... That's... That sound again. And... I notice now that there's a blip on the radar, which means enemies are nearby. Employee terminal. Public kitchen. Repcon inter office correspondence to all Repcon employees. From Emily Nymeyer? I don't even know how to pronounce that. That's a weird name. Hello, everyone. Please remember that the kitchen is a privilege and not a right. Please clean up after yourselves and remember that a clean kitchen is a happy kitchen. Thanks, Emily. P.S. Please remember also that any food left in the icebox without a date will be thrown away every Friday evening. So date your food. That's probably not a good thing. If you take it in a different sense. Uh, Inter-office correspondence to all Repcon staff. From Steve Reynolds, Launch Facility Project Managers. Project Manager. I'm half asleep, like I said earlier. Greetings, fellow Repcon employees. I'm happy to announce that we have finalized our deal with Robco. Starting tomorrow, we will be in the official Robco facility. Most of you won't notice anything different aside from an increase in benefits. Thank you all for your time, and welcome again to the Robco family. Steve and visitor policy to all repcon employees hello everyone please remember that this is a private secure facility family members are not allowed past reception under any circumstances if you see any tourists near the facility please direct them to the headquarters building and if you see any unauthorized personnel inside the building contact security immediately remember only you can prevent corporate Corporate espionage, Steve. That is weird. Map marker added. I didn't think I'd be adding one, but okay. Ooh. Some lead and powder I'll be using later. Okay, let's go down. And hey, there's this. Didn't think I'd see that. Um, and plasma rifle. I'll pair that with that. Yay, got two fully repaired weapons that I will be selling immediately. <coughs> what use is that, huh? Anyway, we'll head this way. Uh-oh, buff out, worn out. Not good. Buff out again, there we go. Locked easy, eh? Yep, up a do. There we go. That'll work. Uh-oh. Dropped a lot of things, though. <laughs> it's not good. Uh, wrench. I can use that. And scrap metal would be nice, but I can't use that immediately. Um, hey! Purified water and stim packs. Always use that. Conductor, not as much. Uh, hmm. Okay, we'll go this way. There's a blip again, which means... Something over here. I'm not gonna see it, am I? Uh, at least not immediately. A pistol. Where in hell's bells? Where are you? Jesus, Hubert Christ. Ah, jeez. I was itching my eye for five seconds. Okay, I'm gonna itch it real quick. And now, blast its head away. And boom, there we go. Okay, where's the next one? Because there is one other one walking around doing jack shit. Whoop, uh oh. Nearly ran straight into it. And there we go. Head gone before it could attack me. That's great. Whoo, that was close. Thank you, 10 mil. Kind of a pistol that I'd like to have. Uh, it wouldn't be easily repaired in this sort of situation. In real life, anyway. Because there wouldn't be a lot of people carrying that. Because it's not a common caliber, to be perfectly honest. Even though it's 
uh, step right between the 45 and the 9 millimeter in terms of stopping power and you know penetrating power it's still not a popular caliber and I don't understand why that doesn't make sense to me but anyway let's, uh, open that because we can Whoop, that could have been bad open desk for 20 gauge rounds or caps I'll take the caps and is there anything else over here uh, apparently not. Oop, desk has a bottle cap. Yay. Fan-fucking-tastic. Oh. This seems to be a administrator terminal. Uh, storage room terminal. To Steve Reynolds, launch facility project manager from Bill Levy Janitor. Hi, Steve. We finished converting that old generator room into storage as you requested. If you need to get access to the safe, the password is REPCOM. Thanks, Bill. Okay, that's a thing. Hello, Stevie. Well, I can't say I'm surprised. You were a devious worm when we started here all those years ago. I guess someone has to take the blame, and it may as well be your old friend. That waste spill never should have happened if you didn't push the team so hard or if you paid for actual competent personnel. I'll be happy to take my retirement package. Good riddance to you in this forsaken place, Martin. Someone fucked up. And that's the password to a storage room safe, which is not this. Uh, would like to know how to get to it, though. Because it's kind of cool looking, considering it's average difficulty. Oh, what's this? Nuka Cola. Up, oh, come on, let me open it so I can take it. Jesus, Hubert Christ. And head all the way down here. Ten millimeter rounds and bottle caps. Hey, it's nice. And I'm pretty much full up on ammo. I just tried to reload and found out. No, you can't do that. You're already full. Um. Now I have to head downstairs would be easier this way uh, and head over to where I'm actually supposed to go uh, should be this way this way no not this way other way just over here and no god damn it down a step down to here there we go no that's a test site supposed to go is this way. God damn, I'm screwing up left and right. Um, that's a pool room. Okay. Ow. The hell did I just hit? Oh, skeleton. They'll do that from time to time. Oh, jeez. Whoo. Am I able to hit it from across the door? Yes, I am. Sometimes the game's weird like that, but that worked out well. Whoa! Uh, stim pack. I wish I could carry that plasma rifle. I will now. <laughs> uh, Carol Ghoul. Stim pack. Nice. Um, I'm gonna go this way. Hopefully, we'll pick up more of those plasma rifles and justify holding that one. Buff out, war out. Worn off. That's what I keep trying to say, but my brain doesn't let me. I'm half asleep. That is my excuse. And... have one more. Uh, which... Oh! Torso shots will do enough. There we go. I don't need to always aim for the head. I try to, but I don't necessarily... Whoa! That was loud in my ears. Uh, that means someone's down there. Uh, medics. Take those. And. Something's coming up, isn't it? Yep, it is. Or at least trying to. There it is. This time I'll aim off the head. 
and that blasted it off easily. Damn. That was quick. Uh, no one else is carrying plasma rifles, are they? That's... That's something. Uh, first aid box. Stim packs. Hey, that's good for me. And I've already passed this, didn't I? Yeah, I did. So I'll go this way. Uh, locked easy, so I can at least open it. I really need to get lock picking as average right now. Oh, there we go. Oh. There we go. That's the stuff. Hostess sponsor. Totally not, though. Uh, there we go. Low tech. And I will get into there. Eventually. It'll let me. There we go. With bottle caps. Pre-war money. And a bunch of stealth boys. <gasps> I opened it up and I got to level 8. Cool beans. Which means I don't need to rely on buff out anymore. Awesome. Because I will show you soon enough. Once I pick the good skills. Um, a couple points in barter won't be too bad. Uh, as, as well as speech. Why not? And I'll take a point to science. No, medicine. Medicine. Why would I move it to science when I don't necessarily need it there? And because I will be able to pick up strong back, which means I don't need to be popping whiskey and buff out anymore because I gain 50 more pounds of equipment carrying capacity. Booyah! I win, and the hunting revolver is a good selling thing. I will take that, and what else do I need? Not a lot, to be perfectly honest. Not a lot anymore. And take that. Hmm, anything else? Should be something. Uh, no. Not there. Ooh. Hey, I could use those to break down later. I keep missing the objective that I'm trying to reach because I'm a dingus. And I just keep getting distracted by stuff I want and stuff I will need later. That's not going to work. Go this way. That way I can bypass that spot entirely. Is there anything good in that refrigerator? Vodka. That's good. Vodka is always good. Don't you believe anyone who tells you otherwise. Because they're a liar. Keep going this way. Uh, go. No. Did we go up? Did we go the same direction we came from as last time? I'm pretty sure we would. So we'll go this way. And. Hmm. Huh. Yep, and whoop, that was jittery. Jitterbug jive. That's a good pal of mine. As well as uh, his boyfriend. I like to consider everyone my pal, to be perfectly honest. But they I have a particular fondness for. For sure. <laughs> I didn't want to say for show, because that's been overplayed everywhere. Forever. There we go. I think. Use the key, and there we go. That's the stuff we need to do. And I just made myself a fucking dumbass. Yay. Uh, we're going to sneak primarily because it would make this whole segment loads easier so that's what we're going to do I did this once on easy mode you know not hardcore where everything fucks you super quickly because it is a godsend um, how much of a stim pack not stim packs 
stealth boys do I have? Four. That should actually do me for the entirety of this segment. So that is going to be good. I'm going to save us here. Because I know this is going to be difficult. And actually, we're kind of at the 20 minute mark already. So I will call this good for now. Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos. And click the like button if you like this particular video. I will be posting more daily. And I will be having a special surprise coming on up for the weekends. Just subscribe and you will find out soon enough and i will you know like if you share and comment so i can talk to more of you guys that you bring into this community and i can you know get feedback from you that'd be nice and i'll see y'all in the next episode this has been the one the only stray cat playing games for you